Hey everyone, welcome to Danae Budgets. Welcome if you are new and if you're a returning subscriber, hey, how are you doing? On this channel, you can find all things cash stuffing, saving challenges, budget breakdowns, and other miscellaneous things. If any of those things interest you, I hope you subscribe to my channel and follow me on my financial journey. All right, guys, so today I'll be stuffing my long-term saving challenges. I'll be stuffing a total of $85. So let's count that. 20, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. I hope everyone's Thursday is going good. I did not post my usual Wednesday video, you guys. If you did not notice, I was getting ready for my trip, so I was just like, I'm going to make sure I get this video out on Thursday for you guys. I'm actually filming this very early before my flight today. Just like I just filmed the video for Friday's cash stuffing. So we are going to get into these challenges here. So the $5 challenge, I'm just gonna move these other binders back you guys. The $5 challenge is going to get $5 today. And these videos are gonna be very short and sweet. So I hope you guys watched the whole entire thing. And I hope everyone's week so far has been going good. How has the work week been? Funny thing is I actually got off early today, which, which was pretty nice. And we're just going to add $5. Next up is debt. And debt is going to get $20 today. Y'all, I'm trying to knock this debt out. And my goal is to continuously put any rollover cash into this envelope here. Sorry if the coloring looks crazy. <laughs> so how is everyone doing with paying their, down their debt or are you debt free? I feel like even after once I pay this credit card, I do have student loans. And I don't know what I'm going to pay that off. I will probably pay that off, um, I want to say, little by little right now. Thank goodness I absolutely have no fees, which I am actually happy about. Like, I apply for the savings program, and I don't have to pay anything. But I'm pretty sure I'm still accruing interest. But I'm not paying them loans until they tell me I have to pay. Uh, the most I have paid so far maybe is like 100 and eighty dollars which is not bad actually towards them because i did get a bill at first until they told me to roll in the savings program i think i only have like twenty five thousand dollars so i'm hoping i was hoping and hoping and hoping that that joe biden thing was actually real and that we didn't have to pay <laughs> those loans and them loans were going to be forgiven but unfortunately none of the loans were forgiven as you guys know i went apply to medical school and hope to get in and guys medical school is debt in itself unless you get a full ride some people pay people take out a hundred ninety five thousand dollars in loans a year for medical school because you can't work while metal in medical school um so you take out loans to live and you take out loans for school sorry guys and i'm also stuffing my 25 envelope week challenge so that's fun. <laughs> so you're gonna get you're gonna be in debt regardless. I even know people who said that they had stipends that they even had to still take out loans, even if it was just an extra thirty thousand dollars to just live, even though they had a full tuition scholarship, it doesn't cover housing, so you are just stuck still. And guys, I am not counting how much I have in any of these envelopes here. Next up, we are going to stuff Christmas. I am going with Christmas early. And I think that's completely insane that even though you have, you're getting paid to, like you're getting money for school, that you still have to take out a certain amount of loans. I wish it would cover everything, but birds can't be choosy because if you're getting a scholarship to medical school, that's very, very good because it's such an expensive thing. And I know a lot of people think doctors get paid a lot of money. <laughs> well, to burst that bubble, they some doctors actually do not get paid a lot of money. And you get paid very piss poor during residency. You get paid like ten dollars an hour for the amount of hours you're working. Eighty hour work weeks. You might be making, you know, and sometimes you're working more than eighty hours a week. 
um, depending on your specialty. If you do surgery, you go to residency after med school. I know I'm probably talking over some guys' heads, and I'm sorry. You have to, um, you have six years, five or six years of training before you can even practice on your own or subspecialize in something else after that. Let me not run my mouth too much, guys, so that I can make sure I put the money in there. So, 15. So, this, I'm going to count. This one will just have $30. So, 10, 10, 20, 30. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, always thank goodness my car has been fine let me knock I, I don't want to cheer to myself you know but god willing my car will stay fine and i won't have to do anything so 10 plus 5 i just need to get a car wash right now so we have 10 20 30 same as my other one. unfortunately none of those loans was forgiven which is very annoying but it is what it is right so we are going to go to emergency cash now and emergency cash is going to get 25 yes big amounts today big amounts Oh, wait, I just colored the wrong one. I'll just make sure that I know that I have colored it. So I did not put that in there. Definitely trying to get this up this year. Definitely one of my goals. Even with working part-time, I will less splurge on some things to get this emergency fund completed. Because it has to be completed. Honestly, this emergency fund will probably, once I have $500, I'll start stuffing for expenses. But I definitely have a challenge that is... Through, um one month ahead and my senses aren't that much but when you calculate i say they're not that much like my monthly bills but then it's like once you calculate gas that you need when you go places if um you need to drive a month during the month it's like the different stuff adds up and you have i would have to take time and i'll probably be like okay i at least need 1200 dollars in expenses a month probably not that much but i would definitely over budget for my monthly expenses and under budget just so i'm sure about it so I'm just going to let's see how much we have in emergency cash now. So emergency cash has 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 78. So $170 in emergency cash you guys so we are slowly but surely getting there and that is all for today's video you guys i hope you enjoyed watching and i will catch you guys on the next one i appreciate it so much and please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and share my channel with other people um enjoy your thursday bye